and Mother Goose rhymes Make magical memories and wonderful times Please, Mother Goose, tell us a rhyme We've heard them before, but we love them each time Tell us a story, sing us a song Mother Goose? Why, I shall be happy to read you a story. Ah, uh, looks like Mother Goose has lost something. Again. She's always losing things. Uh, uh, Bertram, please help me. I, I can't seem to find my book. And I always have to help her find them. Oh, dear, now, now what could have happened to that book? The book is in your bag, I believe. What? Oh, <laughs> I never thought of looking in there. Why, so it is. Thank you, Bertram. You're such a helpful goose. <sighs> now, everybody get ready, because Mother Goose is going to read us a story. And she knows the best stories in the whole world. Bertram? Uh-oh. What's wrong now? Uh, Bertram, please be kind enough to help me find my glasses so that I can read a story. You haven't lost your glasses, Mother Goose. I haven't? No. But I don't know where they are, so therefore they're lost. They're on your head, Mother Goose. Oh? <laughs> oh, well, so they are. Oh, well, I, I couldn't see them up there. Well, n now that that's settled, I shall read you a story. Oh, oh thank please, you, Mother yes. Goose. Please, please. Now, once upon a time, there was a very famous king. Old King Cole was a merry. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. And he called for his pint, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. La la la, la la la, when the fiddlers three. Soul, and a merry old soul was he, and he put down his pipe, and he put down his bowl, and he called for his trumpeters three. Every trumpeter had a trumpet, and a very fine trumpet had he. Do 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 do, but the trumpeters three. He, and he called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his drummer's three. Every drummer had a drum, and a very fine drum had he. Rat a tat, rat a tat, when the drummer's three. None so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three. Yay! <laughs> well, I'm glad you liked that story. Now, I must be off to the village or poor Bertram will only have Swiss chard and rutabagas for his supper.
Oh, no. Only Swiss chard and rutabagas? That's not enough for a growing goose. Unk. A little cheese, a little peanut butter, some strawberry jam, please. <laughs> right, come along, then. Oh, hello, Mother Goose. Hello, Bertram. Look at me way up here. Oh, dear. Humpty Dumpty, I do wish you wouldn't sit on that wall if you should fall. Oh, I won't. See? <laughs> oh, be careful. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I've got great balance. Humpty Dumpty, be careful. And don't show off. I'm perfectly fine. Don't worry about me. You're not very sensible, Humpty Dumpty. But I am a good egg. <laughs> good day to you. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hello, Mother Goose. Oh, well, hello, Jack. My, you're very nimble today. Yes, I am. Well, let's see how nimble you are. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack. Jump over the candlestick. That? Mm-hmm. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. That was lovely, Jack. Thank you. Good day. How'd I do? That's not that hard. That's only an itty-bitty candlestick. Maybe it should be bigger. Maybe we should make a bigger one. Good idea. Oh, Jack. Yes? I bet you can't jump over our candlestick. Well, I'll try. We'll be right back. This is gonna fool him. <laughs> <laughs> Ring around the roses, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we've all tumbled down. Ring around the roses, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we've all tumbled down. Oh, Hooray. boy, that looks like fun. Wonderful. Hello, Mary. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely story, Mary, isn't it? Oh, Mary, haven't you told them? No. Oh, well, tell them now. Oh, I couldn't. Can you do it, please? All right, I will. Come on, everybody. Mother Goose is going to tell my story. Here's a story about Mary and her lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. against the rule. It followed her to school today, school today, school today. It followed her to school today, which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. So the teacher turned it out, but it still lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so? Mary so, Mary so, why does the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Why Mary loves the lamb, you know, 
Lamb, you know, lamb, you know why Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. That's a nice story, Mary. I like the way you tell it, Mother Goose. <laughs> well, thank you. Where's your lamb now, Mary? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Wherever Mary is, the lamb is sure to go. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Mother Goose. <laughs> Jack will never be able to jump over this match. You're right about that, Mitch. We made it too high for Jack. <laughs> we'll show him. Oh, Jack. Where are you, Jack? I'll be right there. <laughs> Here's your candlestick, Jack. You can't jump over this. I'll try. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. We have to make a higher one. Higher than that? As high as a tree. Mm. I'll bet those two are up to some kind of mischief. Well, I'd better go find Mother Goose, or she's liable to forget about my supper. Swiss chard and rutabagas, indeed. Hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Do you see what I see? What's going on here? Ready, boys? Let's go! There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I couldn't but ask it, for in her hand she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I. Where are you going to up so high? To brush the cobwebs off! Shall I go with you? Aye, by and by. There was an old woman tossed up in a basket, 17 times as high as the moon. Where she was going, I couldn't but ask it, for in her hand she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where are you going to up so high? To brush the cobwebs off the sky. Shall I go with you? Aye, by and by. Gee, that looked like fun. I'd like to be up there helping her. Except I'm hungry. Now, where is Mother Goose gone? Have you seen Mother Goose? Yes, she went over to Peter's field. He's picking peppers today. Oh, thanks. Peppers for supper. Mmm, that's good. Honk, honk. <laughs> Peppers, yum! I just love stuffed peppers for supper. Ah, mmm. Looks like it's gonna be Swiss chard and rutabagas for this poor hungry goose. Honk. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Hello there. Oh, hello, Peter. Say, are those peppers for my supper by any chance, please? No, nope, sorry. Oh. Poor me. I already sent him to your house. You did? 
Oh, lucky me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh. At my house. Uh -huh. I have to find Mother Goose. Stuffed peppers for supper. Not Swiss chard and rutabagas. Honk. Now where could she be? First she loses her book, then she loses her glasses, now she's lost me! Honk. Bertram! Oh! Good news! Peter picked peppers so it's stuffed peppers for supper! Oh, well, that is good news! Not for me! Are you complaining uh, again, Tom Thumb? I don't like stuffed peppers. Oh, dear. Who's uh, talking? You? I don't see I don't anyone. See oh, uh, haven't I ever told you about Tom Thumb? No, no. never, never. Oh, tell them about Tom Thumb. I like that story myself. So do I. All right, I will tell you that story right now. I wonder who you know. I wonder who Tom Thumb is. Ooh, I've never heard that story before. I don't know. What do you think it could be? I don't know. Let's see. Now, once upon a time, I met a little man. A very little man. That's right, a very little man. The smallest man I had ever seen. How, How small, small was he? No bigger than my thumb. Oh. Would you like to meet him? Oh, oh yes, please, 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 yes. <gasps> oh. Here he is, Tom Thumb. Hello there. Here's Tom Thumb, little fellow come. Dance between my fingers, run, tum, tum. Mind your little steps, mind you never fail to take a spring and jump over my thumbnail. Now you've met Tom Thumb. He lives in my pocket. And would rather have ice cream and cake for supper. After you finish your stuffed pepper, then you can have dessert. All right. A very little stuffed pepper. After all, I'm a very little man. And I'm a hungry goose. Honk, honk. Very well. It's time to go home. It's nearly supper time. Thank, Thank you, Mother you, Goose. Mother Thank you. you. You're welcome, children. Come along, Bertram. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jack will never be able to get over that candlestick. <laughs> never in a million years. <laughs> wow, that's a very big candlestick. Yep. <laughs> You'll never be able to jump over that one. <laughs> never, 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 never. Please, Jack, oh, try, Jack, try, Jack, please, Jack, please. Please, please Jack. <laughs> All right, I'll try. Good day. I like the rhyme about him. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. Dumpty, why do you insist on sitting on that wall? You could have a great fall. Oh, I'm fine, see? Nothing to it. 
Take yes. my advice before something terrible happens. Get off that wall and go home to supper. In a little while. <sighs> <sighs> He worries me. He has no sense at all. And he's going to be late for supper. Hells are we. Oh, no. Do you think it was you know who? Uh, I'm afraid so. Oh, I don't want to look. I'll go. Uh, poor Humpty Dumpty. Honk, 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 honk. Oh, this is terrible, terrible. He's broken and smashed. He's gone. Humpty Dumpty's gone. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we don't like sad endings. No, we don't. But he's all smashed. Well, he was a very foolish egg for sitting on that wall. But he doesn't look broken to me. Only cracked. Maybe, just maybe. We can fix them. Oh, please, please. Well, now, I have bandages in here somewhere. Uh, uh, here. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> but Mother Goose did. Honk, honk. There. How do you feel, Humpty Dumpty? A little scratched and a little bruised, but I'll be fine. Thanks, Bertrand. Thanks, Mother Goose. I'm a little wiser, too. Good. I'll be all right. I always knew you were a hard-boiled egg. Honk, honk. Funny. Very funny. A good supper of stuffed peppers. And Swiss chard and rutabagas. And Swiss chard and rutabagas. <laughs> With ice cream and chocolate cake for dessert. All right. The perfect ending to this day. <sighs> ah, the first star. Mother Goose, the first star is out. Oh, my. Isn't it lovely? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Then the traveler in the dark thanks you for your tiny spark. He could not see where to go if you did not twinkle so. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. In the dark blue sky you keep, often through my curtains peep. For you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. La, 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 Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good night. Now that's a fine pyramid, if I did build it myself. And I did, you know. 
Mother Ghost, please come see the fine pyramid I built. I'll be right there, Bertram. This is a beautiful pyramid, quite the finest I've ever built. Isn't this grandmother guru? Oh. 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 I'm sure it was grand, Bertram. Yes, it was. And now it's all in pieces. Oh, oh now, now, Bertram. You, you'll just have to build it again, like London Bridge. London Bridge? Oh, don't you remember that story, Bertram? I'll read it to you. If I can find my book. The book is on the chair, Mother Goose. Oh, oh, well, so it is. Thank you, Bertram. You're very good at finding things. And building pyramids, uh, except it fell down. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. Now, London Bridge was a lovely little bridge over a lovely little brook, but it fell down. Just like my pyramid. I know how they must have felt. Honk. Cheer up, Bertram, and listen to the story about London Bridge. London Bridge has fallen down, fallen down, fallen down. London Bridge has fallen down, my fair lady. Build it up with wood and clay, wood and clay, wood and clay. Build it up with wood and clay, my fair lady. Wood and clay will wash away, wash away, wash away. Wood and clay will wash away, my fair lady. Build it up with bricks and mortar, bricks and mortar, bricks and mortar. Build it up with bricks and mortar, my fair lady. Bricks and mortar will not stay, will not stay, will not stay. Bricks and mortar will not stay, my fair lady. Build it up with iron and steel, iron and steel, iron and steel. Build it up with iron and steel, my fair lady. Iron and steel will bend and bow, bend and bow, bend and bow. Iron and steel will bend and bow, my fair lady. Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Silver and gold will be stolen away, stolen away, stolen away. Silver and gold will be stolen away, my fair lady. I said a man to watch all night, watch all night. I said watch all night. I said a man to watch all night, my fair lady. Suppose the man should fall asleep, fall asleep, fall asleep. Suppose the man should fall asleep, my fair lady. We'll keep him company all the night, all the night, all the night. We'll keep him company all the night, my fair lady. That is a nice story, and I'm feeling much better, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, Bertram. And now that you're feeling better, I must get going to town. I have a very long shopping list. Oh, well, please don't forget porridge. I need porridge for my breakfast. Thank you for reminding me, Bertram. I'll just add it to my list. Go. And porridge. Can you think of anything else? I think you've covered everything. I'm off then. I'll start rebuilding my pyramid, but don't worry. I'll come and carry those things for you. Thank you, Bertram. You're such a helpful goose. <sighs> Oh, what a lovely little rose. You are really beautiful. Very small, but beautiful. I'll just give you some water and perhaps you'll grow big and tall and strong. Good morning, blue flowers. You're looking lovely this morning. Good morning, Mary. Oh, good morning, Mother Goose. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells, and so my garden grows. Well, it looks very nice, Mary. Yes, it does. But small, everything is very small. That's why I'm watering them all today. Well, I'm sure that watering will help them grow taller. Bye-bye, Mary. Bye, Mother Goose. And here's some water for you, you lovely little rose. 
<laughs> oh. Uh, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Hmm. This pyramid will be the biggest and best I've ever built. Dum 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 dum. Excuse me. What? Oh, oh, hello, sir. Do you happen to know the way to Babylon? Babylon? Of course. Go straight ahead that way. Or you can go straight ahead this way. Do I understand that I can go to Babylon that way? That's right. Or I can go to Babylon this way? That's also right. Oh, this is confusing. How many miles to Babylon? Three score and ten, sir. Can I get there by candlelight? Yes, and back again, sir. If your heels are nimble and light, you can get there by candlelight. Well, thank you. You've been a very helpful goose. To Babylon. To Babylon. Oh, I am confused. Which way would you take? Me? I don't know. Unk, unk. I usually fly. Fly? That's a great idea. Thanks. Did you see that? Now I've seen everything. Mother Goose is just not going to believe what I saw. Mother Goose! Whoops! I forgot. She's gone. Well, I'd better get to town and help her carry all those things on her list and remind her about the porridge. A growing goose needs a good, substantial bowl of porridge for breakfast, I always say. Uh -huh. Little dog gone. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, Joan, have you lost your dog? Again? Yes, I have. Well, he must be around here somewhere. He never goes very far. No, he doesn't. We'll help you look. Sure, we'll be glad to help. Oh, thank you. Oh, where, oh, where has her little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where? <laughs> oh, what lovely flowers! You're growing up nicely. You're beautiful and bigger and taller. Oh, I do have the loveliest garden of all. Mmm. 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 Oh, boy. Curds and whey. My favorites. Except for porridge. Uh, and stuffed peppers. And toast and jam. And, and ice cream. And, and a whole lot of other foods. <laughs> My other favorites. Um, um, yum, yum. Hello, Bertram. I hope I didn't scare you. Oh, you didn't scare me. Nothing scares me. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Is it good? Mmm, very good. I'm sorry I didn't save some for you. That's all right. I'm looking forward to my own supper and porridge for breakfast. I have to hurry on and remind Mother Goose and carry her packages for her. Oh, Bertram, you are funny. I told you, nothing scares me. I was just testing. Da, da, da. Oh, it's all gone. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Bertram, are you back? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider 
and sat down beside her. A spider! <coughs> who frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh! <laughs> Kurt's and Way look very good. I'm getting hungry myself. Maybe Mother Goose and I could have a bowl of Kurt's and Way. Now, where could she be? Oh, look, here she comes. You ask her. No, you ask her. I'll ask her. We'll you all ask her. her. Oh, oh, please, Mother Goose, Goose tell one us story. a story. Just please, one story. Please. Well, all right, just one story, but then I must do my errands and my shopping. Now, uh, uh, oh dear, I, I can't find my book. Do you see it? No, 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 no we no, don't. I don't see it. No. <laughs> well, I don't either. I, I can't find it at all. I'm sorry. Uh, see, Bertram always finds my things for me, but I've lost him too. Oh. oh! Did I hear an O? Oh? oh, hello. Yes, you did. I would like to read a story, but I can't find my book. I see. Did you hear a C? So, you see, now there won't be a story. Oh, gee. And there was G. I know a story, Mother Goose, one I learned from you. It's about the most important thing to you. Oh, well, please tell it. Here goes. Do you know what's absolutely, positively necessary for Mother Goose to have in order for her to write her stories? Writing paper? A pencil? A pen? Oh, those are all very important, but they're not the most important. I'll give you a clue. It's also something that's very important to me, something I love. I know, I know. You love letters. Right. I certainly do love letters. O and S and G and A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, and T, U, V. W, X, and Y, and Z. Now I've said my A, B, C's. Tell me what you think of me. Teach us, please. All right, sing after me. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. E, F, G. H, I, J, K. H, I, J, K. L, M, N, O, P. L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S. Q, R, S. T, U, V. T, U, V. W, X and Y and Z. W, X and Y and Z. Now I've said my ABCs. Tell me what you think of me. I think you all did very well, very well indeed. <laughs> oh, thank, uh, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Mary. Oh, Mary. Are you in there? Honk, uh, honk. Uh. Oh, there you are. I couldn't see you. Aren't my flowers beautiful? Oh, yes, they are. And big. Yes, big and beautiful. They're growing stronger and taller all the time. You're not hiding Mother Goose in there, are you? Oh, no, I don't think so. A at least I don't see nope. her. I don't see her either. But I've got to find her and carry her packages. Goodbye. You flowers are growing all right. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where is he? Honk, uh, honk. Uh, I'll bet you're looking for something. Yes, I am. Well, so am I. I'm looking for Mother Goose. I'm looking for my dog. I'll help you. I'm very good at finding things, and I'm a very helpful goose, too. Thank you. A little dog? Yes. Ears cut short? Yes. Tail cut long? Yes. 
Gee, I haven't seen him. But I'll look for your dog and Mother Goose. <laughs> you go that way, I'll look this way. Thank you. Honk, honk. Well, look at you. Arf, arf. I knew I was good at finding things. Honk. Now we're only missing Mother Goose. You haven't seen Mother Goose, have you? Arf, arf, arf. I didn't think so. Here's your dog. Oh, thank you. Now come on home and be a good doggy, and I'll bake you a doggy cake. <laughs> cake? Mmm, that sounds good. Almost as good as porridge. I'd better find Mother Goose and remind her about the porridge. Honk, 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 honk. Okay, you guys. Here are the stories about me. <laughs> oh, I like the one about you and the pie man best. Oh, I like that one myself. There's my book. I've been looking all over for that book. I'm sorry, Mother Goose. I was just reading about myself. You like those stories, don't you, Simple Simon? Yep. Well, we like them, too. Read us about the pie man, please. <laughs> all right, I will. Here. Simple Simon met a pieman while going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wares. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. First, show me your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I haven't any. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that rhyme is very funny. <laughs> Simple, Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wares. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. First, show me your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I haven't any. <laughs> I like the one about the whale. I like the bird rhyme. <laughs> I am pretty funny, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are, Simon. <laughs> oh, simple Simon, simple Simon, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You never think things through. <laughs> now, here's the rhyme about the thistle. <laughs> that isn't very funny. Uh, simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his finger very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. He pricked his fingers very much, which made poor Simon whistle. Oh, oh simple, simple Simon, Simple Simon, Simon whatever, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You, you never, never think things through. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the bird one, please. He went to catch a dicky bird and thought he could not fail because he'd got a little salt to put up on his tail. <laughs> he, went he went to, to catch, catch a dicky bird and thought he could not fail because he got a little salt to put up on his tail. <laughs> My turn, please. Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale, but all the water that he got was in his mother's pail. Oh. <laughs> Simple, Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale, whale but all the water that he got was in his mother's pail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Simple Simon, Simple Simon, whatever will we do? You're very funny and we love you. You never think things through. <laughs> Betty Butter bought some butter. But, she said, this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. A bit of better butter will make my batter better. So, she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. <laughs> and I put it in my batter, and my batter wasn't bitter. Now, let me see if I've got this straight. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So, she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter, and she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So, twas better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. Whoa! That, that's exactly right! I'm getting hungry myself, too, you know. Uh, maybe a little porridge, hmm? 
with a little toast and jam on the side? Why not ask Mother Goose? She's right over there in the porridge shop. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. Bertram, come here, look what I have for you. Porridge for your breakfast. If you don't mind, I'll eat it now. Uh, but porridge is for breakfast. And supper, too. Thanks. <laughs> Whatever you say. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. I like it in the pot nine days old. Hot. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot nine days old. Like me! Bertram, it's time to go home. It's nearly supper time. That was good porridge, and we have some for breakfast, too. Yes, we do. All right. I'm ready to carry all your packages home. And my packages? Well, all those things you had on your list. <gasps> oh, my list. I forgot about all the things on my list. <sighs> well, what do you know? At least we got the most important thing, oh, porridge. Well, we'll just have to come back tomorrow and get the rest of the things on my list. And you better come with me to remind me. That's a deal. And we'll get more porridge, too. I do love porridge. Yum, yum. Uh, uh. Porridge for supper, porridge for breakfast. I don't know about you, Bertram. I'm just a growing ghost. Uh. Uh. Oh, we're here. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? I see silver bells and cockle shells, and so your garden grows and grows and grows. Bertram, who are you talking to? Bertram, are you talking to yourself again? Mary. Oh, Mary, come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello. Mary, look at you. Look at my garden. It certainly oh. is big yes. and tall and still growing. Oh, yes. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Uh, your garden is very uh, interesting, Mary. Wow. Yes, it, it's lovely, Mary, but uh, it's getting dark and, and we should be going home. Uh, you should, too. Uh, good night. Yes, yes, goodbye. Oh, dear, what shall I do? What shall I do? Uh, how about growing vegetables? You could grow the biggest green pepper anybody ever ate. Uh, uh. Oh. I see you're rebuilding your pyramid, Bertram. Yes, it's going to be even bigger and better than before. Well, no building your pyramid tonight. You can do that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. We've had a busy day today. Uh -huh. Yes, we have. Oh, look, there's the moon. I see the moon, and the moon sees me. God bless the moon, and God bless me. Good night, Mother Goose. Good night, Bertram. I see the moon, 
and the moon sees me. God bless the moon, and God bless me. Do you see the moon? The moon sees you. God bless the moon, and God bless you. Good night.